At best, maybe 1% of my viewers need to know how to use an electric ice shaver, but when I bought one last year, I was dismayed to see how little shaved ice content existed on YouTube. Really, the only hit is this one from Eater, in which unfair comparisons are made between shaved ice and shaved milk, and the highest value budget shaver, this one, linked in the description, is not even included in the lineup. Like so many other Net Shack posts, this is a video that I just wish existed when I needed it. And these are my six lessons. Number one, shaved ice has to be shaven. Anyone who suggests that you can emulate the experience in a blender or a food processor is either lying to you or just a taste lit. Have you ever gotten a tooth filling that was just like half a millimeter too high? Have you ever eaten melted and refrozen ice cream that was formed of small ice crystals instead of teeny tiny ones? Your mouth is extremely perceptive. Shaving ice into thin ribbons is not the same thing as crushing it into little pebbles. Two, use one mass of ice instead of multiple cubes. I like to freeze a 16 ounce deli container full of water so that the cutting blade is constantly scraping against one surface instead of chopping up a bunch of chunks. Three, let the ice temper for a little bit. Take the puck out and put it in the feed chute so that it can warm up just a little. This is what the pros do at commercial establishments and it has the added benefit of chilling down your equipment so that the freshly shaven snow does not immediately meet warm materials as you work. Number four, use light pressure. If you press down too hard, this cheap shaver might bite off more than it can handle and seize up. It's far more satisfying to shave the whole puck in one smooth motion and the light pressure will result in lighter, fluffier ice shavings. Number five, use cold syrups. I make my own and keep them in the fridge. If you buy pre-mixed syrups, they can easily cost more than the entire machine, and they're mostly water anyway. My budget advice, make a quart of simple syrup using equal parts sugar and water, divide it between a couple of squeeze bottles, and then add a spoonful of 25 cent Kool-Aid powder to make common flavors like grape and cherry. If you're chasing after harder to find flavors like tiger's blood, you can buy snow cone flavors in powder form from specialty retailers says here it's illegal to use the terms tiger's blood and powder in the same sentence without making a Charlie Sheen reference. I also like to keep a can of sweetened condensed milk in the fridge, which pairs with any syrup for a creamy snow top. Number six, and this is a big one, do not just stick to the Hawaiian style shaved ice. I like to pour a can of Humex mango nectar into a container, freeze it, and shave that with fresh mango and sweetened condensed milk on top. You could take that into more of a mango nada direction by adding chamoy sauce, tajin, and or tamarind candy in an attempt to emulate some iconic Mexican raspados, or instead of juice, freeze a puck of whole milk. Between the natural sugars and the fats, milk shaves into an impossibly pillowy texture and the base of shaved milk can easily steer things into a Korean bingsu direction, particularly if you employ toppings such as sweetened condensed milk, sliced fruit, mochi, inchior mi, sweet red beans, AKA pot, which would turn your bingsu into a pot bingsu. The limit truly does not exist. I'll put down a scoop of vanilla ice cream into a bowl and tomb that in a big mound of shaved whole milk, alternate drizzles of sweetened condensed milk and chocolate sauce, and then top that whole thing with crushed Oreos. It's insane. Honestly, I'm not even that big of a dessert person, but when you can throw together a sweet summertime treat this pretty, nostalgic, and delicious in like two minutes, well, let's just say that's why I've been growing such an unseasonable summertime mustache. Nobody's accepting free snow cones from a guy who looks like this. More for me. Trade has paid to be mentioned at the end of this video. Longtime Shackalites will remember Trade as being the first ever brand to do a paid ad on this channel. And since that ad over a year ago, I have personally maintained a paid trade subscription. I like learning a little bit more about what I do and don't like in a coffee bean about once every month. The prices are fair and the coffee comes from small local roasters instead of enormous mega brands. You can take an online quiz to get you started and then order based on your quiz results. The coffee gets roasted and shipped out within 24 hours of ordering and you can rate each bag to hone in on what you do and do not like. If for some reason you do not like your first bag, Trade will send you a different one for free. Speaking of first bag, viewers of this ad will get their first bag for free when they sign up. Just take the quiz by clicking the link in my description box and then even the shipping is free. This is about as risk-free as an introductory offer can ever get, so give them a try. Until then, you can catch me freezing my cold brew into pucks for some coffee-shaved ice.